In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your system hard drive to a faster and maybe larger SSD drive using Samsung's data migration software. Now, the first time I tried this myself, I left it running overnight. And when I came back in the morning, I found that it had failed. So I'm going to show you here what you need to do to make sure that the job runs right the first time, saving you loads of wasted time troubleshooting and having to run it again. So please click on the subscribe button below. And let's get started. There's a few things that you're going to need for the job. Obviously, first off, you're going to need your new SSD hard drive that you're going to use as the replacement. And if you've got a laptop, you're definitely going to need a case to connect it to your system with as well. The most important thing about the case is that make sure that it's USB version 3. If you're using an older version than that, then it's going to take ages to do the migration. The case that I like is this one from Oracle. I think it looks pretty cool with the clear case. It's also dead easy to use. You don't need any tools. You can just open the case like that put the hard drive in and then close it up again. Now, if you're using a desktop, you might have a spare bay in there that you can put your new SSD in, but I'd still recommend getting an external case anyway, because that way, when you finish doing the migration, you can take your old hard drive and you can use that as a backup for your important data. Also, you can fit it in your pocket so you can easily carry it around with you. Okay, so you're gonna need to have that. The other thing that you're going to need is the data migration software. It's dead easy to find. So in Google, just look for Samsung data migration. And then it's going to be the first hit that I get here in Google. Click on that. And then scroll down a little bit to data migration. Expand this out. And there it is there, the data migration software. So download that. So once you've got that downloaded, just run the file to install it. I'll do that now. So here it is, Samsung Data Migration Setup. It's a really simple installation. You basically just click next, next, next. So I'm going to do that now. And then that's going to have the software installed. Once that is done, take your hard drive and plug it into a spare USB slot on your system. And you can then click on start in the software. And this should automatically detect the correct disks, but just to make sure that it is the correct ones. So I can see that the source disk is my existing C drive, my one terabyte drive, and I'm upgrading it to my new four terabyte Samsung SSD and I've got the correct source and target there. Now, if you look at the Samsung documentation, it will tell you that you can just click on start now and it will then run the job. But if you do so, there's actually a pretty good chance that it is going to fail the first time. So it save you wasting your time running the disk the first time and it failing, then having to troubleshoot, fix it and do it again, wasting hours of your time. I'm gonna show you the tasks that you should do first to make sure pretty much that this is gonna work first time. So first thing to do is to run check disk on your existing disk. That's gonna just check it for any errors and you can correct them using the same command as well. If you don't do that, if the Samsung tool finds any errors in your disk, then the job is going to fail. So to do that, click in your run box down here and type in CMD for command. Then you'll see command prompt here, right click on that and then run as administrator. Say yes on the warning, and then the command I'm entering is chkdsk, check disk, and hit enter. This is then going to run through my C drive, and it's gonna check and see if there's any errors on there. There's quite a good chance that there will be. That'll take around 30 seconds to a minute to run. And I can see here that I'm lucky because it says that Windows has scanned the file system and found no problems. If you do this and it does discover some bad sectors, it's not a big deal, don't panic about it. What to do is run check disk again, but then put slash F at the end. So say CHK DSK, then a space, then slash F and hit enter. And what it'll do is it'll run through check disk again, but this time it will fix any errors for you. So make sure you do that before you run the data migration. 
The other thing to do as well as checking for any errors on the disk is this software is making a clone of your drive. So you want to make sure that as little as possible is happening on your drive as you're going through the cloning operation. So we want to disable any software that might be doing anything on the drive while the cloning is happening. So to do that, if you've got any kind of cloud backup software running on your system, then shut that down first. And I do, you can see down here in the bottom right corner, I've got Dropbox running. So I'm gonna right click on that, and then I'm gonna click up in my name up here, and I'm gonna exit Dropbox. If you have got Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive or any other kind of cloud backup like that as well, make sure that you disable it, you shut it down while you're running the cloning. The other thing to do is, again, look for any other software. You can see I've got Skype running on here as well. So I'm going to right click on there and I'm going to quit Skype. I want to be out of Skype while I'm running the cloning. Also, I want to isolate my system as well. Again, just to make sure that there's as little running on the laptop while I'm doing the clone. So to do that, I'm going to put it in airplane mode. So I'm going to go down to my notifications icon down here in the bottom right. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on the button to enable airplane mode. And then that is going to take my laptop off the network and isolate it. Also, I want to temporarily disable my antivirus software as well. That's another thing that's really likely to cause problems with the cloning. So that's in my taskbar again. I'm running a vast. If you're running any other kind of antivirus software, you're going to do something very similar here. So I right click on the Avast icon and then I go to the Shields control and I'm going to disable this until the computer is restarted and then click on OK. So looking down in my taskbar icons here, I can see that I've got nothing running in there. I'm also going to right click on my taskbar and go to task manager. And I'm just going to have a look through here and shut down anything that's running that really doesn't need to be running right now. So that all looks okay. Just anything obvious, you can close it in here by right clicking on it and then ending the task. Also, make sure you don't have any programs running on your disk as well. So you can see I've got a bunch of programs running here on mine because I'm recording this video. When you do to go with it, do the clone, make sure that all your programs are closed. Make sure that everything that doesn't need to be running in the taskbar is closed. Make sure that you are in airplane mode. And then when that is done, you can go back to the data migration tool and you can click on start. And then that is going to start copying all of your data from your existing disk onto your new disk. And it's going to move everything over there for you. So your operating system will be moved all your applications will be moved, all your other settings, and then you'll be able to replace your existing disk with a new disk and get back up and running. So just click on start and then leave that to run. I'll see you back here in a second when that's completed. It took about one hour for my disk to clone about 700 gigabytes of data from my existing SSD drive to the new one. So it is gonna take some time to do this, that's why I recommend leaving it to run overnight and then you can come back and it will be done for you in the morning. When it is done, you'll see this message. The data on the source disk has been successfully cloned to your Samsung SSD. When you see that, you can close out of here, then shut down your system and then replace your existing drive with the new drive. Depends on what model of laptop or desktop you've got to do that. If you have a look in YouTube, you should find instructions in there from your model of laptop about how to replace the hard disk. Once that is done, all you have to do is power your machine back on again. Then remember to take it back out of airplane mode and make sure that any programs that you disabled before are back up and running again, including your antivirus, and then you're all done. Okay, I hope that was useful for you. See you in the next video.